New York is so vibrant, there's always something going on and, and I think it's so exciting being right in the heart of it and, and without this job I wouldn't have that opportunity so it's, it's wonderful. I've just been appointed uh, assistant organist. I think it's one of the most beautiful instruments in the city. I, you know, the size of it, you can see it's a fantastic instrument to be playing day in, day out. Well, St. Thomas is an Episcopal church, obviously here in the heart of New York City, and it, its strong point is the upholding of an Anglican choral tradition. Um, we have five services a week that are all sung by the men and boys, and the, the church is known for its choral services and the, and the quality of the choir. I take the junior choristers um, for a rehearsal uh, nearly every morning. The, the probationers, as we call them, are mainly third and fourth grade. My job is to train them in the very basics of music. How long is the word on father? How long do we make that note? Ready? So before they become no, full on, choristers, on I take them and I teach them everything okay, from there. middle C on the piano and how to sing a major third, um, to sight read, which is obviously very important when we have such a busy schedule here of choral services. So I'm basically doing the fundamentals of, of music. I was seven years old, I became a chorister at St Paul's Cathedral in London. I couldn't sing for a while um, because I had laryngitis and so I page turned for the organist and uh, I decided I wanted to give it a go and, and take it up. Being a chorister was a huge influence on my later um, musical career because the dedication and the, the level of perfection that's required, is, it, it filters through to piano and, and organ and, and whatever um, other instrument and I think it was just a really valuable learning curve and set me up very well for the job I do now. Longwood is a, uh, an individual unique instrument uh, which I'm very much looking forward to uh, playing but this is much more set up for the, the church service and um, has less less bells and whistles, let's put it that way, than Longwood. You need to have a very open mind in how you play, not just the overtures and the transcriptions, but all the way back to the music of Bach, um, needs to be approached in a different way. And I think without that, in the last couple of years at Juilliard, I think it would be um, more difficult to approach. I think it's been incredibly useful studying this country for two years just to have a kind of, um, I'm, I'm a bit more used to the American culture surrounding organ and American organ builders and things like that. In talking to my teacher about the, the repertoire I was going to play, I decided to choose new, new repertoire to play that I hadn't done before and I think that it can be very refreshing to play pieces you've never played before and have to get them to a level that is, that is so high to compete with. Um, and I'm playing my own father's transcription of uh, Mendelssohn's Hebrides Overture. He is a composer, he's also an arranger. Um, his job by day is the principal bassoonist of the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Um, I come from a very musical family, lots of musicians um, in my family. And, uh, and he just, when I started the organ, he really sort of fell for it as well. And he's arranged um, a lot of different pieces and helped me with my own transcriptions as well. He often he sketches a, a skeleton that's unplayable and then I file it down to something that's more um, kind of user-friendly for an organist. I think that overall I would say that uh, organists feel more appreciated in this country. There's, there's more sort of excitement and more hype about organ playing and I think people are more open-minded in terms of audience. I think that a lot of people give the organ a chance and come to a recital, you know, seeing it as a classical music concert rather than an organ recital specifically. 